All right, Gemini, this is part two of your reading. Like I said before, I was about to give you all a list of the uh, questions so that you don't, well, well that's going to help you not to get overwhelmed. If you want the questions, you don't have to jot these down, certainly up to you. But uh, like I was saying before, the camera cut off is Pisces moon is, because Pisces is the last, uh, the last zodiac sign, um, it, it, it can get quite overwhelmed. And while it is the most, one of the most likable traits is the compassion of Pisces. And I'm seeing compassion here in your cards. So you may have Pisces in your chart. As we get closer to the 30th of this month, Gemini, emotionally things can get overwhelming, especially if you're starting to think about all the deep disappointment, the heartbreak, the all these things. You may be tempted to talk about some things or take some kind of action. Source is saying to you to consider. There's a there is a another opportunity at changing like ascending higher and contributing to your legacy wealth. Wealth is not just money, obviously, but your family is involved here and source is trying to make somebody very, very wealthy. So um considering changing some things right again ascending higher allowing source if you feel like somebody needs to be exposed you're not trying to ruin somebody's business you're not trying to be the person that's trying to hurt anybody in any kind of way because that energy can come back and so or it can delay the release of that so the release of your legacy wealth and all of that so source was also saying i don't know if i caught this on the first part of the video but the four of coins is also about being conservative with your spending. Sometimes when people get stressed, they feel like, okay, you know what? Let me go out and spend X amount of dollars on something. Then look back and go, hmm, did I really need all of that? So it's just really saying to you, be conservative with your spending. But here are the questions. Um, and as I was saying before, Pisces energy can bring waves of emotions and feelings that you really can't even articulate. And so it could be situations that trigger you know, um, on the subconscious level, and, and it might take a while before you finally see it clearly because, again, of the overwhelming feelings. But here's some questions. Um, first question is, could you, could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and um, defense to heal your deepest wounds with love? Second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? Third question is, could you become more connected to the universal, universal unconditional love? Fourth question is, um, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? And last but not least is, do you clean and replenish your energy daily? Those are some things you can think about. In the meantime, there's been a lot of air here. So it looks like somebody wants to work on their uh, forgiveness work on heart, their heart chakra, this stone right here, the rose quartz love stone is also uh, helping you with self-love, forgiveness of other people, forgiveness of yourself. Um, sometimes hurt people hurt other people. And so you don't want to be that person. So again, this is about you vibrating high. Let's see what else we have here so we can go ahead and close out your reading, Gemini. Let's see what we have so we can go ahead and close out your reading let's go ahead and close out your reading all right emotions are running high yep emotions are running very very high so like i said keep your vibrations high you have an opportunity you got the two you have two ten of pentacles cards out here so source is really really trying to you know bless somebody in a mighty way <laughs> looking at the cards here like really really trying to um so sweet treat, sweet treat, sweet treat. This is a, this is a pivotal point. This is where somebody's like, okay, source, take any hurt, pain, anything away from me. Take any temptation, any bitterness from my heart. Help me to, this is where you're thanking source in advance that all the bitterness, all the past hurt, all of that is taken away from you so that you can ascend higher. You can ascend higher and you can see, you can do something for your legacy. Something for your legacy that is going to make you and your kids and everybody really connected to you very proud. I am powerful. 333, three, three, I am powerful. 
You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be positive light to others. Positive. I'm telling you, this is this is amazing. I haven't seen the um the two Ten of Pentacles cards come out in I don't think any other signs readings. I'm trying to think. I had to pause for a second and think, did I see this come out in any other sign? No, this only came out of you guys reading. So Source is trying to put you in a very powerful position, but not to abuse power, to really, really help people. So part of that is, again, not trying to hurt anybody. Like you, you could have, having all these swords right here lets me know that somebody has been hurt by a lot of people, been hurt by a lot of people. There's some situations where it may not have been as bad if you had not been hurt so many times. But of course, because somebody, somebody could have been super sensitive because this is a lot of, there's like, imagine like getting, you know, people just one sword after the next, right? Obviously you would be in a very bruised, very sensitive situation, but some situations might not have been as bad as possible. I mean, bad as, bad as it, some situations could have been just disappointing. They may not have been like a person was intentionally trying to hurt you that bad, but of course, Everything is coming, everything is coming up because we're, all the emotions are coming back because of this first quarter moon in Pisces. And this is with every sign. This is why you got to consider everybody else around you too. Everybody's going through a very, um, very sensitive time emotionally where all their, all of their spiritual gifts are awakening. So for some people, especially Pisces, if, M if the MC is Pisces, so you may just want to check your birth chart, see if your MC is Pisces. Um, sun, moon, or rising, your moon sign can be Pisces, your, your rising can be Pisces, and you're feeling super sensitive about things, especially about people who have hurt you in the past. You could be picking up on at literally everything, and it can be overwhelming. But Source is trying to put somebody in a very powerful position, and so you want to be very sensitive to everything around you so that you are not intentionally hurting other people that is what i have for you uh let's pull an affirmation card so we can go ahead and close this out gemini let's pull an affirmation card so we can go ahead and close this out anxiety affirmations for anxiety all is well and i am whole all is temporary i am grateful for change i have all that i need in this present moment I release control of the future. I am not alone. I am in charge of my mind. Every experience is a part of a greater plan. I allow myself to feel and let go. I am not my emotions. Yep, that is what I have for you. And those are some affirmations you can say for yourself. Gemini, I will see you all on Monday. Again, this reading is for the remainder of November all the way through the end of December. Be gentle with yourselves. Again, um, oh, I want to make sure I don't forget, and I may have forgotten on some of the other channels. We are in Sagittarius season as we are filming right now. So you all are more than welcome to join in, if you want, no pressure, in the giveaways. So that is what I have for you. Um, you'll find the information on the giveaways on Sagittarius channel. And uh, you'll find out if you have Sagittarius in your chart, if you pull your full birth chart. So I encourage you to do that. That's what I have for you, and I will see you all on Monday for Motivational Monday. Bye.